Hello friends. In this problem we have been given that x raised to the power x is equals to 2 raised to the power 3x plus 192. Then what is the value of x that satisfy this equation? So now we will use some rules of exponent and then we will try to solve this problem. So if we have x raised to the power a plus b, this means this can be written as x raised to the power a times x raised to the power b. So with this result I can write left side will as it is but the right side we can write 2 raised to the power 3x times 2 raised to the power 192. And also if we have x raised to the power a times b this can be written as x raised to the power a and then raised to the power b whole power b. So if I use this rule I can write this is x raised to the power x is equals to 2 raised to the power 3 and this raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power 192. So in the next step this is x raised to the power x but this is 8 raised to the power x and this is 2 raised to the power 192. Now let us take this term to the left hand side. So this becomes x raised to the power x divided by 8 raised to the power x is equals to 2 raised to the power 192. Now I will use another rule. So if we have x raised to the power a divided by e, by raised to the power a, this can be written as x by by raised to the power a. So with this rule I can write here x by 8 raised to the power x this is equals to 2 raised to the power 192. Now let us raise a power of 1 by 8 both side. So this side we are going to raise a power of 1 by 8 and this side also I am going to raise a power of 1 by 8. Now as I said if you have x raised to the power a raised to the power b this is simply as x raised to the power a times b. So if I use this rule, what I will have? I will have x raised to the x by 8 raised to the power x times 1 by 8. And this side we will have 2 raised to the power 192 times 1 by 8. So this is what? This is x by 8 raised to the power x by 8. And this side I will have 2 raised to the power, this becomes 24. And 2 raised to power 24 can be written as 2 raised to power 3 times 8. And this can further be written as 2 raised to power 3 raised to the power 8. So this becomes x by 8 raised to the power x by 8. And this is equals to 2 raised to power 3 is 8. So 8 raised to the power 8. So now you can compare. You have base and exponent same. x by 8 is base and x by 8 is exponent. Same here, 8 is the base and 8 is the exponent. So from here I can compare and I can say x by 8 is equals to 8. This means x is equals to 64. So this is the solution for this problem. But now the question is, this equation has only one solution or it has many solutions or, or other solutions. That we have to verify that it has only one solution then we can say this x is equals to 64 is the only solution. So let us try to investigate this function. So what we have, we have this function x by 8 raised to the power x by 8 is equals to x raised to the power 8. Now let us consider a function by is equals to, so we are going to consider this function by is equals to x raised to the power x. Now let us check whether what kind of graph this function has or whether whether there is a possibility of two roots or not, we can ver verify using this function. So if I take log both sides, so this becomes ln by, so this is ln by ln x raised to the power x and if I use rules of log, so this becomes x log x. Now this means ln by is equals to x ln x. Now let us find dy by dx. So if I differentiate both sides, so differentiation of ln by is 1 by y and then dy by dx and this side we will have 
let us differentiate x then 1 times ln x plus x times differentiation of ln x is 1 by x. So, this becomes d by by dx is equals to by times ln x plus 1. So, or by I can plug the value by in that case d by by dx will be. So, d by by dx is equals to y is what? by is basically x raised to the power x, x raised to the power x times 1 plus ln x log x. Now, when the dy by dx will be 0? So, this will be 0 when ln x is equals to minus 1. This means if the base is e, then I can say x is equals to e raised to the power minus 1 that is x is equals to 1 by e. So, this function will have a critical point either minima or maxima at x is equals to 1 by e. And we can check whether this is minima or maxima by finding the situation when x is less than 1 by e. So, what is the condition? So, let us say if x is greater than 1 by e and x is less than 1 by e. So, if x is greater than 1 by e in this case d by by dx, you see this quantity is d by by dx. This quantity will be positive greater than 0 or you can say greater basically greater than 0. Uh, this means in this region this function is an increasing function, but if x is less than 1 by e this quantity will be negative basically this quantity will be negative. So, d by by dx is negative. This means in this region this is a decreasing function. So, if I want to plot then I can plot this function. So, this is my y axis and this is my x axis and y is what x raised to the power x. So, at 1 by e you have minima. So, x equals to 1 by e. So, this is x axis and this is x is equals to 1 by e. Because this function is first less than 1 by e decreasing and then it is increasing. So, this function is coming like this decreasing and then it is starts increasing. So, this will be the function. Now, what will be the value of x equals to 0 that basically has no meaning in this case or not required in this case, but using calculus you can prove that if you take limit of this function that is d by dx when x tends to 0 you will find the value of y is equals to 1. So, basically not d by dx you can take limit of this function. So, by this function. So, using the concept of limit you can prove that when x tends to 0 y tends to 1. So, he will have somewhere here y is equals to 1. So, this is the function. Now, this is for y is equals to x. Similarly, if you have this function that is x by 8 raised to the power x by 8. This is equals to 8 raised to the power x. You will have similar graph. So, you will have very similar graph, only thing is in place of x, you will have 1 by x, uh, x by 8. So, this is x and this is y axis. So, where will be your minima? So, now you will have x by 8 is equals to 1 by e, this means x is equals to 8 by e. So, you will have minima at x is equals to 8 by e and this function will come something like this and then it will go something like this. Now, this is the left hand side and right hand side is 8 raised to the power 8. So, this means, so this, this means this value is somewhere here. So, it will cross only at one point because this value is very small, this, this value is basically 1 then this value, so this will cross only at this point. So, this means this equation will have only one root, only one solution. And that solution is x is equals to 64 that we found earlier. So, this solution is the solution for this problem. So, I hope this video is helpful for you. And if you like these videos, please share with your friends, subscribe to my channel and like on this video also on the YouTube. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.